Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about why the narcissist wants to destroy you. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is why the narcissist wants to destroy you. The narcissist wants to destroy you. They want to put an end to your existence. They want to ruin and defeat you. And this is something that all narcissists do. It's their mission. It's their goal and result. And in order for them to do that, the first step is for them to steal. To secretly take things that don't belong to them. Things that you own. Things that are your property. Things that would otherwise be suitable, appropriate and advantageous to you. They have to take what you have for themselves. Which doesn't just mean your money or material possessions. Although they may take those things as well. But it also means things that are inside of you. Because they want to possess your mind, body and soul. They want to possess your character and disposition your basic nature, your usual mood, your mental, physical and emotional traits, which includes your faith, hope, belief and joy. They want to take everything that you have in life and it all begins by them mirroring you, by imitating and adopting your ideas, behaviours and practices to where they may say the same words that you say and like everything that you like. Because by imitating you, they are taking you. They're constructing a version of you inside of themselves. Because they're empty vessels, and they're envious and jealous of you. Which is why they want to be just like you. Because they have no imagination or original ideas of their own. They have no true wants or desires of their own. So they're energy vampires, who are just looking for people to leech off of, so that they can suck the energy out of you, and take things from within you and bring them into themselves. They're repeating things that you say, and they're acting the way that you act, until they start to become a version of you. Which is why their first objective is to steal by participating in something that they shouldn't be involved in, by mirroring you, because by doing that, they're already stealing something from you. While you may think that you're sharing something with them, as though there's going to be a mutually beneficial outcome, but actually they are stealing. They're taking something that doesn't belong to them, and they will take until they feel they have enough to fill themselves until they feel whole and once they've achieved that their next objective is to kill you because as long as you're alive they're threatened by what they've stolen from you your existence prevents them from displaying what they have to the world because you're the only other person who has what they possess which means that they have to get rid of you so that they're no longer threatened by you because now they've become you They've mirrored you. They've taken everything they want from you. So now, they just need to deal with you. They need to leave you in a position where you can't interfere. Where you're not seen or visited by many people. They have to dispose of you so that they can exist. Which is why many sociopaths and psychopaths will actually kill their victims. Because they pose as a hindrance or an obstruction to what they're trying to accomplish. But most narcissists won't go that far. Because there are laws against killing people. And they're afraid of getting caught. So instead they will use other means to kill you psychologically. To devalue and degrade you. Because they've already absorbed a lot from you. 
so now they understand how you function and perform, which is why they will deliberately insult and neglect you because then they can kill you, while keeping in existence the things they stole from you. They have to get rid of you because they've stolen things from you. So they will want you out of their life and they will want to make you ineffective. But while they're insulting and criticizing you, it's actually very strange because they're doing it while they're acting like you. But they have to do that because for them to take over who you are they must make you seem less impressive and valuable. They must belittle you and make you seem unimportant. Until your presence and distinctive atmosphere and qualities finally disappear. So that they can steal the spotlight from you with what they've stolen from you. And once they've stolen from you and killed you, their final objective is to destroy your reputation and all of your connections. They will destroy whatever they think you care about the most whatever is most important to you. They will befriend anyone who is close to you and they will tell them that something is wrong with you and they will try to get you fired from your job because they want to destroy everything that you once were. They want to eliminate the effect that you had on the people around you. It's not enough to kill you because your presence still remains in the hearts of so many people. So they have to destroy all of your connections to eliminate the remains of who you once were so that they can take on everything that they stole and become you. And then they will be the only you because they want to take over everything. They want everything you have. They want all of your connections because if you still have your family, your friends and your job, then you're not gone, which means that they will see you as a threat and they will see you as their competitor, even if you no longer wanted to be involved with them. So you having your job and your connections is a threat to them because then they can't become the new you, which is why they have to steal from you. They have to kill you and then they have to destroy the remains of who you are. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.